Hogwarts. I have time to travel and become Snape. Introduction. Sly plus Harry Snape plus sub era, the phrase, always, made me a fan of Czechoslovakia. A sentence of anything made Sijiao become a person of Dumbledore because of love. The phrase, his eyes are like Lily, once again made Sijiao yearn for life and use it to protect Harry. A sentence, please look at me with your eyes, made Sijiao willingly leave the world. He is almost the bravest person I have ever met this is Harry's best evaluation of teaching. When the soul of a Chinese person travels through and becomes Snape. Will this world still be like that? The protagonist felt Snape's childhood when he met Lily. He knows why Snape liked Lily so much in the original work. Chapter 1 Spider Tail Alley You are listening at NovelFull.audio January 9, 1961 The weather on this day was particularly good, especially in the foggy city of London. In the innermost house of Spider Tail Alley, there were bursts of baby cries. The room is very dim. The four walls were filled with books, many of which were tied with old black or brown straps. In the dim light, a tattered sofa, an old armchair, and a shaking table were placed together, and the light was emitted from the candle lamp hanging from the ceiling. Unlike the gloomy environment, a couple happily comforted their baby in their arms. Today is the baby's first birthday. The name of this baby is Severus Prince Snape. Just as the couple was happily teasing Snape. A surprising thing happened. Snape was floating in the air without any support. A green energy ball enveloped him. The light emitted with the energy becomes brighter and brighter. All the plants in the room began to sway joyfully. Even the small windowsill was filled with birds. When green energy is fully integrated into Snape. All the plants stopped dancing and the birds on the windowsill flew away reluctantly. The male owner in the room looked angrily at the female owner. What was the magical riot you just subconsciously mentioned? He scolded sternly, what did you hide from me? The hostess in the room trembled and replied, our child is a wizard. Just now was the awakening of the wizard's power, but it came too early. He should be a genius. The male protagonist was frightened and powerless when he heard the word, wizard. Witches are often synonymous with evil during this time period. For example, Snow White's malicious queen, as well as the Gringotts in the Smurfs, and so on. The male protagonist cursed fiercely and inwardly, why? Why is my son an evil wizard? The fearful gaze and fierce expression clearly frightened the hostess. The hostess pleaded, wizards are not evil, they are just a group of people who know magic. They will also receive a good education like you from a young age. The male protagonist heard this and looked at the familiar yet unfamiliar woman in front of him. A low inquiry asked, so you are a witch. The hostess didn't answer this time, but lowered her head deeply. Her silence had already told him the answer. The male host angrily slammed the door and left here. That night, he returned home drunk and shouted angrily at the hostess, Irene, you evil witch. You should really be grateful to me for not burning you alive. Thanks to your blessings, I was fired. You must have brought this damn bad luck. Then there were not only his screams and curses in the room, but also the pain of women and the sounds of violence and fighting. They didn't know that Snape's eyes were filled with sadness. The reason for his early awakening was that he was a traveler from China. Today is his first birthday. When he knew he was Snape, he already knew what kind of childhood he would have. But he never expected that by destroying this harmonious family, he would awaken the system. At this moment, watching his mother being beaten, he felt immense regret and guilt. This sense of guilt even exceeds the joy of the awakening system. He shouted out with all his might that dad didn't want it. This call awakened a father's instinct. Father Tobia stopped his violence and returned to the room, taking out a backup medicine and throwing it to Eileen. Then he angrily returned to the bedroom to rest. Mother Erin did not apply medicine, but endured the pain and came to Snape. Gently coaxing Snape to sleep. 
Just as Snape felt that everything could go back to the past, every day that followed told him. All of this is just the beginning. Time is a ruthless person, it will not stagnate due to preferences. Eight years have passed in the blink of an eye. From this day on, Snape's memory will always be of a drunken father and a mother who was subjected to domestic violence. And there is also oneself with many scars. Because from that day on, not only did my father lose his job. There are also habits of alcoholism and gambling. Every day, whenever he is unhappy, he will resort to violence against his mother and son. Snape had repeatedly advised his mother why she didn't leave after losing love. Irene always answers with a smile, who can say clearly whether to love or not. During these eight years, although Eileen did not protect Snape well. But she still did her best to give Snape enough maternal love. But with no source of income for a long time, my father became addicted to gambling. Snape can only wear his mother's shirt and her coat. But none of this matters to Snape. Sadly, he found that his mother's health was deteriorating day by day. Becoming increasingly thin. This also made him open the system for the first time, since the awakening of the system caused a dramatic change in his family. He once made himself forget about this system. At the moment the system is turned on, warm green energy reappears. Nourishing his and his mother's bodies. He breathed a slow sigh of relief because his father was not at home at that moment. As the energy accumulated by the system heals him and his mother, he is also checking the system's messages. Firstly, the name of the system is, the strongest druid system, next is the introduction of the system. This system can help the host cultivate into the strongest druid. Find the book garden www.jowshuyuan.com, druid magic includes healing, natural magic, and transformation magic. Finally, the system gave him a beginner gift package eight years ago. When he opened the beginner gift package, his mind was filled with system prompts. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining the natural magic book and practicing according to its content. It can enhance one's own magic, and at the same time, the natural magic book will automatically absorb the power of nature. Ding, congratulations on the awakening of the host's talent language of nature. Ding, congratulations to the host for awakening their talent in friends of nature. Ding, congratulations to the host for awakening their talent, the power of nature. Language of nature. Able to communicate and exchange ideas with various animals and plants. Friends of nature. All animals and plants have a natural affinity for it. The power of nature. It can cultivate any plant with the help of natural energy and shorten its growth cycle harmlessly. The above three talents will become stronger due to stronger magic. Ding, congratulations to the host for obtaining the water of life magic. Water of life. The use of natural forces can condense water of life, and the amount of condensation depends on the amount of natural forces. This item can repair dark wounds in the body after consumption. Repairing dark wounds can slightly increase vitality. Seeing the last magic, Snape finally had a smile on his face. Thanks to my mother's health, a solution has finally been found. But the happiness didn't last long, and a tight knocking on the door sounded. After the mother and son opened the door, they discovered something sad. Chapter 2 Meeting of Fate You are listening at NovelFull.audio Perhaps it was due to Snape's early awakening of magic. It's like a butterfly flapping its wings, affecting everything in the world. The mother and son looked sadly at the body sent by their neighbor. Father Tobias Snape angered others while gambling. With a gunshot, he left this world. Mother Aaron's love for her father is pure. She cried loudly as she hugged her father's body. But Snape didn't know why, although his heart was very sad, not a single tear flowed down. In a daze, he saw the soul of his father Tobia. At this moment, the father was as gentle, confident, and kind as he was on his first birthday. He looked at his mother and son apologetically, 
saying things Snape couldn't hear. Snape only understood the last three words. I'm sorry. After Father Tobia finished speaking, he turned around and disappeared in place. And the body in my mother's arms slowly closed her eyes. Due to poverty at home, Tobia's funeral was very rudimentary. In order to take better care of Snape, the mother began to go out to work and earn money to support the family. Snape, who had no one to take care of, had his life become a two-in-one. During the day, one will come to the nearby river to practice the power of nature. In the evening, I will return home and cook kanji with the water of life coagulated by magic. Thanks to the water of life, although Mother Eileen worked hard, her body and complexion were getting better and better. But in the quiet of the night, Snape found that she would secretly hold a photo of her father and cry. Days are passed day by day repeatedly. Until that day arrives. Snape still had the habit of coming to the river to practice, and from afar came the laughter of two girls. This voice disrupted the usual tranquility and also caught Snape's attention. He tiptoed towards the source of the sound. Finally, I saw two little girls about his age playing on a swing under a tall tree. Especially the little girl who swings very high on the swing. She has thick, dark red hair that makes her complexion very light. What caught Snape's attention the most was her dark green eyes, which he couldn't help but love so much. At this moment, another little girl shouted, Lily, don't do that. Mom said it's very dangerous. Unexpectedly, the little girl named Lily flew up when she reached the highest point on the swing. He burst out laughing as he rushed into the sky, then slid through the air like a master swing, stayed there for so long, and landed so lightly. Another little girl nervously approached her, constantly complaining while checking Lily's body for any injuries. Lily laughed heartily and said, Penny, I'm fine. Thank you for your concern, this flower is for you. I saw a withered wild flower miraculously blooming in Lily's palm. Penny looked at Lily in a daze, with envy and longing in her eyes. She asked in surprise, How did you do it? Snape, who was hiding on the side at this moment, already knew who they were. The one with green eyes is Lily Evans, and the other is her sister Penny. At this moment, he was not like Snape in the original work, but wanted to quietly leave. However, some things happened so coincidentally that he accidentally stepped on a withered branch while leaving. Although the voice was small, it was still captured by Penny. She asked angrily, Are you monitoring us here? Today, Snape pays great attention to personal hygiene, but his family is poor and can only wear his mother's clothes. He also did not communicate with anyone of his age, but often practiced alone. It's normal for Penny not to know Snape. Before Snape could answer, Lily stopped her sister Penny in time. She said gently, perhaps it's the children around us who come to play on the swings like us. Sister, don't be so sensitive. Then he smiled and looked at Snape, saying equally gently, My name is Lily Evans, and this is my sister Penny. Although this swing was first discovered by us. But we are very willing to share with friends. Snape muttered to himself, Friend. Having been in this world for nine years, he only had his father, mother, and himself in his life. The word friend was his first time hearing it. At this moment, the sunlight passed through the branches and shone on Lily's body. Looking at Lily's sunny temperament and gentle and sweet smile. Snape finally understood why he fell in love with this girl at first sight in the original work. At this moment, she descended into his world like an angel. Snape also smiled and introduced himself, My name is Severus Prince Snape. Nice to meet such a beautiful lady like you. He first smiled and looked at Penny, calmly saying, Hello Penny, can I call you that? I'll explain why it was just a moment ago for Lily. At this moment, he picked up a withered flower on the ground and placed it in his palm. I saw the flowers rejuvenate. After the flowers bloomed, he didn't give them to any girl. But he explained to Lily, this is a phenomenon when the little wizard awakens. You will be a witch in the future. 
This sentence scared the two little girls. Like Tobia before, the two sisters who lived in the ordinary world also had no good feelings for wizards. Perhaps sensing the emotions of the two women, Snape patiently told the story of the magical world. From Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry to Branch Hat. From magical creatures to pure unicorns. That magical world deeply attracted two little girls. Zhaozhuyuan.com Snape looked at the longing in their eyes. Looking up at the rare blue sky, my heart seems to have returned to a past life. He was an owl that had been waiting to deliver letters back then. Who knew that waiting for so many years? But don't worry, he will be able to see it in another two years. At this moment, Penny hesitated and looked at Snape. After several hesitations, he whispered, Snape, you just said Lily was a witch. Is it possible that I am? Snape apologetically said, although this is bad news, Penny, you haven't had a magical uprising yet. So you're just an ordinary person. Perhaps unable to accept being an ordinary person, Penny fled with red eyes. Perhaps Snape was dizzy, as he vaguely saw two tears drifting in the wind. Lily looked at her sister who had left, quickly said goodbye to Snape, and then quickly chased after her. In the following days, Penny and Lily never appeared together in front of Snape again. But every time Snape tells a magical story about the magical world. The birds flying in the air tell Snape through their natural language talent. There is a little girl not far away, looking at them with envious eyes. And hide their quietly eavesdropping on their stories. Snape knew it must be Penny, so every time he told a story, he deliberately spoke louder. Whenever we have to part ways, we deliberately remind Penny. After learning that Penny had left, he bid farewell to Lily. Although he spends every day with Lily, Snape knows they are just friends. Far from reaching the stage of love. Chapter 3 New Druid Skills You are listening at NovelFull.audio On this day, Snape and Lily came here again. Snape and Lily had a very happy conversation. At this moment, the natural power on Snape suddenly began to surge out. Snape told Lily to stay a little further away from him. Otherwise, you may encounter danger. Lily obediently followed his advice and slowly ran towards the distance. Unexpectedly, I met Penny who was hiding. But looking at Penny's equally nervous eyes, she gently pulled her sister's hands continuously comforting Penny in her mouth. The estrangement between the two sisters for more than a day disappeared at that moment. Looking towards Snape in the distance together. Snape stood in place, the natural force within his body instantly filling his entire body. The surrounding grass began to grow vigorously, and the nearby flowers also flourished. Some old trees have actually sprouted new branches. More and more small animals came to Snape's side, and they didn't disturb Snape. But rest around Snape. Although Snape closed his eyes at this moment, he could sense everything around him. With more and more visions, the natural force inside him seemed to break through the bottleneck and become more and more. Then it circulates autonomously within the body. When the loop reached 108 times, a feeling surged into my heart. Ding! Congratulations to the host for understanding the magic of evolution. Evolution. There is a certain chance to activate the ancestral genes in the target body. Thus, under the cultivation of natural forces, it continuously increases until complete evolution is achieved. Note. Can only be used on plants and animals. Magic creatures are ineffective. After the prompt ended, Snape slowly opened his eyes. The originally black eyes turned into a emerald green like lilies. The difference is that when you gaze into Snape's eyes, even the most complex mind will instantly calm down. Just like these animals in front of us, they all interact gently and peacefully with Snape. He gently nourishes every animal with the power of nature. Thank them for coming to help and communicating with them in the language of nature. When he saw Lily and Penny coming to him, he commanded the animals to play with them. This game lasted until the evening. 
the two sisters said goodbye to Snape reluctantly. Snape also returned home as usual to cook. Watching his tired mother Aaron return home, Snape obediently handed over the food. And help Eileen relax and massage. After finishing her meal, Irene was ready to return to the room to rest, but Snape took the initiative to stop her mother Irene. He said gently, Mom, I think you can quit that job. Although Aaron's face was tired, she gently patted Snape's head. Smiling, he said, Seaver, Mom knows you love me. But we always have to live, don't we? After speaking, she wanted to go back and rest again, but Snape's next move made her stop in place. A seed appeared in Snape's hand. Wrapped in a green magic in Snape's palm, it instantly turned into a rose. Snape explained, Recently, I feel like I have gained new insights, so I'm trying to do something like this. I found that I can make many plants mature in an instant. There are also many magical plants in the wizarding world. I think I can help my family cultivate more magical plants. So you don't have to work so hard anymore. Irene looked at Snape seriously and couldn't control her tears anymore. Although her husband left her, fortunately he still has a good child. Snape looked at his weeping mother and breathed a slow sigh of relief in his heart. Although Eileen has been very strong these days, he knows how easy it is for a young woman to be a maid in a noisy bar. However, as a mother, Eileen kept all her grievances in her heart. Now that she knows everything will improve, she can finally release her pressure to the fullest. When Eileen was tired from crying, she first escorted Snape back to the room. Then return to the room to rest on your own. The next day Snape came early to the place he had agreed with his two sisters. He apologized and said to them, Recently, I need to help my mother with some things. So I won't be here in the short term. I will contact you when everything is sorted out. After saying these words, he turned his head to look at Penny. Looking at the little girl in front of him, it was difficult for him to connect him with his future Aunt Penny. Perhaps like the line from the movie, she said to Harry, on that day you lost your mother, and I also lost my sister. Since she knew she was just an ordinary person, she knew that she was no longer in the same world as her sister. Perhaps due to the influence of emotions such as jealousy, the two gradually became estranged. But how could their family relationship be cut off at any moment? But none of this will happen. With the magic of evolution, he should be able to change everything. He came to Penny with the intention of telling her the good news. But I was afraid that I would give the other person hope, but in the end, I was disappointed. So he didn't speak up, but directly used evolutionary magic. Penny watched in horror as the green energy ran from Snape's hands onto her body. Then playfully slipped into his right hand. I saw a warm current beginning to swim around me, but soon this feeling disappeared. Snape looked at Penny without any change. He sighed in his heart and said, fortunately, he didn't say it out loud, otherwise it would have caused secondary damage. Go to Shuyuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com. Looking up at Penny in confusion, he fabricated a white lie. This is a natural blessing that can prevent you from getting sick easily. Penny was moved to hear this and said thank you. Because I have to rush home to accompany my mother Erin to Diagon Alley or Hogsmeade. So he hurried to say goodbye to his two sisters. Quickly returning home, waiting for the mother to resign and return. Just as Snape had finished cooking, Irene walked into the room with a smile on her face. The process of resigning was very enjoyable, and I still have my newly paid salary in hand. The two mother and son were happily eating and exchanging plans for a while. They first arrived at London Street, and Snape looked longingly at the broken cauldron bar in front of him. This used to be the place where his dreams began. Because it was from here that Harry first entered the magical world in the original work. Irene took Snape to the backyard and took out her wand to point a few times at the wall tiles above the trash can. I saw those wall tiles start to shake, and a small hole appeared in the middle. But as the wall tiles moved themselves, the opening grew larger and larger. Before long, 
a broad road appeared in front of Snape. Irene looked gently at Snape and smiled, Seaver, welcome to the magical world. Follow me closely and don't walk to Fanjiao Alley, where black wizards are everywhere and it's very dangerous. She gently held Snape's hand and led him to the slug gig's pharmacy. Looking at the dazzling array of magic potions and their high prices. Snape's gaze fixed on a commonly used potion. White Fresh Essence Chapter 4 Starting to Cultivate Magic Plants You are listening at Novel Full Audio. White Fresh Essence is commonly used in the magic world. It can promote wound healing and treat split body injuries caused by shape shifting. So Snape decided that the first batch of herbs would be by Sien. He held his mother Erin's hand and secretly whispered his reasons in her ear. Irene is not a dictatorial person. With Tobias passing, Snape was her only relative. So she patiently pondered Snape's message. After careful verification, it was found that there were no problems at all. She smiled and walked up to the boss. Proposed to purchase seeds of fresh white and inquire about the price of the seeds and the price of mature fresh white. When the boss says that there are three copper gnats per seed and twelve silver siliques per mature white and fresh seed. Irene's heart was completely overjoyed. But years of experience as a muggle bar waiter have allowed her to control her emotions very well. I calmly purchased twenty fresh white seeds. The calculation of the currency system in the wizarding world is very abnormal. One gold carat is equal to 17 silver siliques and 493 copper nats. It's not at all decimal. Snape watched as Eileen handed the boss three silver coins, and the boss retrieved 27 copper coins. A person who keeps roast about making rules. But seeing twenty fresh white seeds in his hands, he seemed to see the golden mountains in Harry Potter's treasury. Because it was my first time coming to Diagon Alley, and purchasing seeds went smoothly. Irene took Snape on a tour of the entire alley. Whenever Snape looks at expensive items, he is always like a golden dragon. The desire to make money has been ignited in my heart. The mother and son strolled around until late before returning home, and Snape's final reward was a tattered magic robe with unknown hands. Although it's a worn dot out magic robe, it's better than always wearing my mother Aaron. At least it won't make people feel like a little bat. A second dot hand book called Standard Spell, Beginner, along with twenty fresh white seeds. These cost a total of five silver and twenty copper gnats. Snape secretly attempted to spawn by Sien on the road, and to his surprise, natural energy in his druid talent could indeed achieve it. But compared to ordinary flowers and plants, that is really too slow. After arriving home, Snape first habitually cleaned up and then went to prepare dinner for the evening. The two mother and son were already starving. After they happily finished their meal, Snape mischievously used a cleansing spell on the plate. However, he had just learned, so the magic did not take effect immediately. Mother Erin looked at Snape's embarrassment and handed her magic wand to him. Little wizard, because magic is not very stable, she said gently, so it's all about using a wand to cast spells, and even many adult wizards cannot cast without a wand. That requires a long training period. Unexpectedly, as soon as she finished speaking, she heard Snape release the cleanliness curse again. This casting was very successful, and all the utensils were clean and tidy. Snape happily arranged them. Praising in my heart that magic is useful in the magical world. Although some simple spells have average power, they may not even have any killing power. But for household chores, it's simply a miracle. After handling everything, I said goodnight to my mother Erin. Hurriedly returned to the bedroom. Irene maintained a polite smile throughout the entire process, with her hand resting on the gesture of handing out her wand. But his eyes were filled with surprises. Because her son turned out to be a genius, she firmly believed that Snape would become a legend in the wizarding world in the future. Then quickly go wash up and return to the bedroom to rest. Why Snape is so urgent is because he saw the condensed water of life while cooking. 
I suddenly had an idea in my heart, what would be the impact of using the water of life to cultivate by Sien. A clear drop of water appeared on his fingertip. As he gently shook his fingers, the drop of water of life dripped onto a seed. I saw the seed sprout instantly and then grow rapidly into their infancy. This made him very happy because in the afternoon he kept trying to release natural energy from the seeds. At most, the seeds can only sprout, and no matter how much natural energy is used, it cannot promote the continued growth of fresh white. But a drop of water of life has actually reached this point. Then came a drop of water of life, dripping onto the young Bai Xian. I saw Bai Xian growing again, but it was far from reaching the mature stage. This made Snape very excited, you know, since he made a breakthrough. The condensation speed of the water of life has greatly increased. Just a few drops of water for life, Snape can still afford it. But the nourishment of the fourth drop of life water did not allow Bai Xian to grow again. Although not perfect, it is always more effective than pure natural energy. At present, the combination of water of life and natural power talents is simply a great weapon for cultivating magical plants. After cultivating all the seeds, Snape took a comfortable bath. Excitedly lying in bed fantasizing about a shining future. The next morning, the first thing Snape did when he woke up was to try to cultivate seeds. What saddened him was that neither the water of life nor natural abilities had any effect. This matter has caused him some setbacks. He was not very happy all day, and his mother Erin asked him the reason. After learning all of this, Irene gently comforted and said, Seaver, do you know why seeds are so cheap, but mature potions are so expensive? Because the growth cycle of magic potions is very long. And during the cultivation process, various problems will be encountered. The cost of labor and time alone is already very expensive. Find Shuyuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com Moreover, not every seed can successfully sprout. So it's already very outstanding that you can achieve this level now. I even thought that even if you could cultivate success quickly, I wouldn't be able to sell so quickly. Because we don't have enough strength to protect ourselves yet. The magical world has not been so peaceful in recent years. This world will never lack evil black wizards. After listening to his mother Eileen's comfort, he instantly understood that he was already an adult soul. It is indeed a guilty act, and without sufficient strength, everything will easily disappear. Treasures, money, loved ones around. His current strength cannot be guarded at all. So from this moment on, he formulated a strict daily plan. Spend 30 minutes cultivating and studying the growth of fresh white vegetables. Two hours are spent preparing and eating. Six hours are used for rest, and the remaining time is used for cultivation. Thinking of this, he happily ran to the riverbank. This is the place where he practices daily. Before he could reach the place, the familiar birds in the air told him. The sisters who has been playing with him is playing on the swing over there. At this moment, there was only one thought in his heart. After cultivating the plants for so long, I can't rest well anymore. Quickly run over and share the joy with Lily and the others. Anyway, the natural magic book will automatically cultivate. Looking at the two happy sisters nearby, he found that he seemed to be carefree. People are so easily influenced by those who care. Chapter 5 Meeting Between Lily and Aaron You are listening at NovelFull.audio Lily and Penny heard the sound of footsteps walking. Immediately stopped playing. Turn your head to look in the direction of footsteps. When he saw Snape, his nervous little face burst into a beautiful smile. Lily said happily, didn't you say it would take many days? Why did it only take so two days? Did the matter go smoothly? Penny also joked in a good mood, Lily, look at him changing into new clothes. Although it's a bit shabby, it's much more pleasing to the eye than his previous one. Snape looked at the lively sisters and thought it was good to be young. Having been with them for a long time, I have also been infected a lot. With a smile, he replied, 
things are going smoothly and everything is moving towards the right direction. Since I have time, I thought of the agreement with you. So let's come here and see if you're around, and also chat and relax together. Hearing that everything was going well, the two sisters also felt happy from heart. Just as Snape was preparing to tell them stories about the magical world. Penny and Lily mysteriously approached him. Penny pretended to be mysterious and said, Severus, thank you for the blessing you gave me last time. So I specially prepared a gift. I hope you like it. I saw her slowly extending her right hand to clench her fist, and then slowly opening one finger at a time. This move filled Snape with anticipation. You should know that this is Penny's first gift. Previously, this proud and delicate little girl didn't have a good temper towards him. Especially when he told Penny that the other person had no magical talent. Thinking of this, Penny's hands have all opened. Snape opened his eyes wide and searched carefully, but he didn't find any gifts. So he looked at Penny in confusion. Penny chuckled and gestured for Snape to continue watching. I saw a seed slowly sprouting in the palm of Penny's right hand. Penny's little face also turned red from holding back. It seems that this action has consumed a lot of her energy. The sprouted seeds gradually grow and bear a flower bud. Just as the flower buds are about to bloom. Penny's face had turned pale and her expression was also somewhat low. Because she had exhausted all her strength to achieve the scene before her. Unfortunately, the flowers still haven't bloomed. Just as she was feeling a bit sad, the hands of two different people connected to hers. The flowers that originally stopped blooming. It bloomed instantly. Penny stared blankly at the flower in her hand, although it was just an ordinary flower that couldn't be more ordinary. But in Penny's eyes, it is the most beautiful flower in the world. It has a beautiful name, called, Flower of Friendship. Even the proud little girl's eyes were slowly moistening. At this moment, Snape's gentle voice came to his ear. Welcome to the magical world, Miss Penny. Penny's moist eyes looked at the gentle Snape and kept encouraging her sister Lily. I can no longer control the tears at the corners of my eyes. Two sparkling tears ran down her smiling face to the corner of her mouth. Although somewhat bitter, the joy in her heart was as if she had eaten the sweetest honey. A few people looked at each other and smiled, everything remained silent. Snape happily said to Penny, Penny, since you have awakened your magic, you still need more blessings. The weather today is not very good, why don't you and Lily go to my house? Penny had not yet answered, and lively Lily immediately agreed to Snape's proposal. She had long wanted to see what the wizard's home looked like in her heart. So he pulled Penny and Snape towards his home. At this moment, Eileen was still tidying up her household chores. When she heard the sound of the door opening, she immediately walked to the door to welcome her son. Unexpectedly, his son Snape not only returned on his own, but also brought two beautiful girls. This surprise really made her very happy. Her eyes were like a scanner, carefully looking at the two little girls in front of her. The more I look, the happier I become, and the more I become entangled. The magical reactions on the two children prove that they will both be wizards in the future. They were originally two sisters. Although Lily was more beautiful, her sister Penny was also good. I thought to myself, which one should I choose as my daughter? In law. You must ask Sievert carefully later. You can't be so petty and extravagant. Snape was single both times, so it's hard to understand a woman's inner thoughts. He thought it was his mother's first time meeting Lily and Penny, and he didn't know each other's names, so he was stunned over there. So he quickly introduced them and said, Mom, this one with green eyes is Lily Evans. She's the same age as me. Next to her is Penny Evans, one year older than me and Lily. They are the sisters of Evans' family next to us. I got to know each other because I felt the magical reactions on them. They were born into a muggle family, so they are very interested in everything in the magical world. 
Upon hearing Snape's introduction, Irene sensitively noticed that her son had a different feeling towards him, and Lily, who was introduced first, had a different feeling. So they happily received the two sisters. Welcome, my name is Aaron Prince Snape, she said happily, it's Seaver's mother who came to our living room to chat. Shifu, hurry up and prepare your coffee. I saw Snape busy making coffee and preparing some small dim sum. Irene began praising Snape in front of Lily, and she proudly said, Our family Seaver is so hardworking that she never lets my mother do these things. I personally cook meals every day and occasionally help with household chores. Even our clothes were hand washed by him. Sometimes I wonder if he has some cleanliness fetish. Snape secretly heard what his mother said, and roast in his heart, I don't have a habit of cleanliness. As an adult, I can't let you take care of me. In addition, take a shower once a day, wash your hands before meals and after meals, and do a good job of cleaning every time you finish work. Is this considered a cleanliness obsession? He watched as his mother Aaron was about to praise him out of the sky. Accelerated the speed of doing things, quickly prepared everything and placed it on everyone. Turning the topic around, he said, aren't you interested in the wizarding world? My mother is a good wizard. Find ShaoZhuyuan.com. You can ask any questions you have. Lily first asked, Aunt Aaron, what do you mean by muggle that you've been talking about just now? Irene took a sip of Snape's coffee and felt that the taste was as good as ever. She immediately motioned to the two sisters to talk while eating. Then he explained, Muggle is the term used by wizards to refer to ordinary people. Although I don't think it's a polite thing, everyone calls me that, and that's all I can do. Lily and Penny ate a mouthful of dim sum. They were surprised by the delicious taste buds. I didn't expect Snape to be skilled in cooking. Lily continued to inquire, Auntie Aaron, can you show us some magical magic? Irene chuckled and didn't answer directly. Instead, he used a floating charm to send dim sum to Lily. The recommender said, Seaver, please help yourself. This is the best. Lily and Penny, please eat more. Then he used a cleansing spell on Snape's robe. The soil and leaves on Snape's robe disappeared instantly. In the following time, Eileen displayed many magical aspects of life. And promised that if the two sisters want to learn, they can come here to learn at any time. After speaking, he gave Snape a proud glance. The meaning in his eyes is. Stinky kid, this is the only way a mom can do it. Over time, love grows, and the rest depends on yourself. Unfortunately, she was disappointed and Snape didn't notice it at all. But patiently using natural energy to help Penny better activate the hidden magic genes in her body. Chapter 6 The Owl Who Delivers Letters You are listening at NovelFull.audio In the following days, Eileen became a magic teacher for several people. Teach knowledge strictly according to the content of Snape's purchase of standard spells, beginner. With Snape's help, Penny's magic was no longer so weak. The happiest thing for the two sisters was that they went to Snape's home to study and eat Snape's cooking after school. Due to frequent meetings, even Irene and the Evans couple became good friends. The two families gather together privately every weekend. Happy days passed day by day, and in the blink of an eye, it arrived in August 1971. Three owls flew to Snape's house. Because today is a gathering between the two families, Eileen and Evans are happily watching the children. Encourage them to open the envelope with a blessing in their eyes. Irene carefully gave some food to the owls and took some care of their feathers. Snape casually opened the envelope. As expected, the notice from Hogwarts caught the eye. Seeing an indifferent attitude, he threw the notice aside. For a straight man, although he has always been looking forward to receiving it. But when the item arrived, I didn't expect it as much anymore. Lily and Penny are the opposite of him. Lily excitedly opened the envelope and proudly read the content to several parents. Then happily share the joy with everyone. 
Penny is different, she repeatedly reads the notice word by word. And I double-checked my name. There is also information such as a book list. Although very happy, he carefully collected the letters in his pocket. This notice holds a special significance for her. Irene saw that the children had all received notices. A very happy proposal, why don't we all go on a trip together? This proposal received instant support from the Evans couple. However, Snape's words forced several parents to postpone this plan. Because Snape's letter contains a few extra lines of information. It reads, Mr. Snape, because your residence has three young wizards enrolled. And the other two little wizards' parents are muggles, so it's around 5 p.m. this afternoon. Professor Hogwarts will go to your residence for home textile. Snape handed the letter to Eileen and the Evans couple to watch. Several parents immediately began to tidy up their clothes and prepared items in advance to welcome the professor. Snape, Lily, and Penny were chatting and looking forward to the arrival of the professor. The topic between them revolves around several key words. Diagon Alley, Hogwarts, Professor Dumbledore. For these curious Penny and Lily, Snape was once again asked to tell the story of his visit to Diagon Alley over the past few years. He patiently recounted his observations and situation in Diagon Alley. Of course, they are all about positive and interesting content. In fact, since Voldemort's return in 1970, the entire wizarding world has been very dangerous and turbulent. Especially the incident a few months ago. The reason is that in the past two years, Snape's fresh produce has matured in countless batches. But considering the turmoil and danger just mentioned, he and his mother decided to reduce the frequency of sales again. From five times a year to three times a year. On average, each sale of fresh produce earns a total of 50 gold coins. The mother and son, who had gained a lot, were very happy, but when they sold it for the second time, they still encountered danger. On that day, the mother and son were still very careful. Mother Erin disguised herself and brought enough fresh produce to Diagon Alley. But he was still targeted by the Black Wizard in Fanjiao Alley. They looked at the seventy gold coins traded by Eileen, with a hint of greed in their eyes. But just Jean Jelong is not their goal. They had already set their sights on Eileen during the second sale and were able to sell so much fresh produce in just over a year. That means there must be relevant secrets. They speculate that either Eileen has a complete breeding base. Either Eileen has a way to accelerate cultivation. If it is the first type, then they will harvest a very good planting base. If it's the second type, they'll be rich. When they thought of the second possibility, the greed in their eyes was almost overflowing. So they followed closely behind Eileen. Fortunately, Snape had already awakened his transformation magic and successfully transformed into cheetah form at that time. And has always maintained the invisible talent of cheetahs, closely following their mother to protect them. When a few people arrived at a deserted place, he quickly killed these three black wizards through a surprise attack. Next, I wanted to touch the corpse. Fortunately, Mother Erin stopped Snape in time. Seriously tell Snape never to do such a dangerous thing for small gain. No one knows what else exists in a wizard. It could be toxins, curses, or pets. Snape was also someone who listened to advice, and upon hearing this, he looked at the body with regret. While reflecting on this reckless move. When the mother and son quickly returned home, they made a decision that they would no longer sell magic potions. Thinking of this, he looked at the lush white vegetables on the windowsill, feeling a sense of sadness as his family's harvest rotted in the ground. I couldn't help but sigh, it's indeed better to live in a peaceful era. Lily and Penny have started planning for tomorrow's trip to Diagon Alley at Zhaoshuyuan.com. I even started looking forward to my wand. Snape has no interest in such a topic. Because since he was able to transform, he felt the power of druid magic. I am currently focused on cultivation and looking forward to realizing a more impressive transformation. 
you should know that every transformation is a magical creature. It's not just a simple beast, it's a powerful species that can use magic and physical attacks at the same time. The more I think, the more I look forward to the next transformation. There is still natural magic that has not been fully understood so far, and the steel and cement of the city are not suitable for the cultivation of the sun of nature. So he walked to the windowsill, feeling the rich magical power and natural energy of Bai Xian. Now this place seems to be his best place for cultivation. Just as he was practicing, a little bird that often chatted with him flew over his shoulder. Tell him that a neurotic old man with a white beard is slowly walking towards his house. Upon hearing the bird's description, a person came to Snape's mind. At this moment, the doorbell rang and an elderly man with white hair stood in front of the door. Irene respectfully bowed to the other party and said, Hello Principal Dumbledore, although I know there will be a professor coming. But I didn't expect you to come in person. Then he led Dumbledore to the living room and told Snape to prepare desserts and coffee. Snape couldn't help but shake his head when he heard the coffee. Thinking to himself, give an old be bitter coffee, mom really has you. When he arrived at the kitchen, he did not follow his mother's arrangements. But prepare desserts and pumpkin juice first. Chapter 7 Diagon Alley You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Dumbledore ate the dessert with satisfaction. Then explained some basic things about the magical world to everyone. I am glad to see that the Evans couple is not so resistant to the wizarding world. So a few people ended the home textile production in a joyful atmosphere. Just as he was about to leave, Snape took the initiative to stop him. Dumbledore looked at Snape in confusion and asked, Mr. Snape, do you have anything else you want to know? Snape answered seriously, Principal Dumbledore, I do need your help with something. Can you come with me to the windowsill? Although Dumbledore had some doubts, he still followed Snape to the windowsill. Then he looked in surprise at a perfectly grown patch of fresh white. He exclaimed in surprise, Mr. Snape, are these all nurtured by your mother? Snape didn't explain, so he nodded and said, Yes, sir. Our family is not a wealthy one. My mother doesn't have the job you mentioned in the Ministry of Magic either. We can only make money by cultivating white vegetables and selling them to herbal merchants. But you should know that the magical world is not so safe now. Our last sale was attacked by a black wizard. Fortunately, my mother managed to escape with me in the end. But we have also lost our sources of income, and I don't want my mother to be that difficult, Professor Dumbledore. My request is whether Hogwarts needs herbs such as by Sien. We can provide stable supply of goods, or my mother and I can help Hogwarts cultivate herbs. I just hope to get a living salary. You see how well these white vegetables grow. Dumbledore looked at Snape in front of him throughout the entire journey, and with his rich experience, he naturally felt that Snape was hiding something. But he has always been someone who allows the other party to have secrets especially young people like Snape who have love in their hearts. A person who has put in a lot of effort to persuade themselves and fight for a long-term job for their mother. What kind of bad intentions can there be? He pretended to be serious and said, Mr. Snape, you have really given me a difficult problem. Snape felt a bit low upon hearing this. But it is still too dangerous to send my mother to London in this era. Hogwarts may not be safe either, but in this era, he is safer than anywhere else. He wanted to continue fighting at this point, but what Dumbledore said later. It really gave him a surprise. Dumbledore said happily, after all, how much salary does Hogwarts need to earn to impress such a powerful potion planting expert? Upon hearing this pleasantly surprised answer, Snape immediately stated, Principal Dumbledore, it doesn't need to be too much, as long as it satisfies our lives. Dumbledore laughed heartily and said, I think Professor Grinder must need such a planting expert. You can patiently wait for my appointment letter with your mother. I think Ms. Eileen will be very happy in the future at Hogwarts in these few days. Snape saluted Dumbledore seriously. Then send Dumbledore away. The next morning, 
the Evans couple brought Lily and Penny to Snape's house. Because we agreed yesterday to go to Diagon Alley together today. Although the Evans couple are just ordinary people, they still have great expectations for the magical world. The couple is even more excited than Lily and Penny. But the first problem arose, which was that only they were present and couldn't see the broken cauldron bar. The anxious Evans and his wife turned to Eileen for help. Irene smiled slightly when she saw this scene, because Dumbledore had already considered this. So I specifically communicated with the owner of the broken cauldron bar. Cast a spell on the Evans couple. At the moment when the magic was successfully released, the Evans couple saw the broken cauldron bar hidden between the two shops. Seeing such a magical scene, they became even more interested in the magical world. The group, led by Aaron, walked to the brick wall in the back alley. A few people watched Eileen point at the brick wall. The brick wall automatically turned into a passage and excitedly walked towards Diagon Alley. Snape explained to the two sisters nearby, you must remember where you clicked just now, because they will need to open the door when they come to purchase. Lily and Penny nodded very seriously. After entering Diagon Alley, Snape became like a tour guide. He first led the Evans couple to Gringotts to exchange gold coins. Subsequently, the Evans couple kindly interrupted and curiously played with Jean Jialong's behavior. Take a few people to start purchasing the items needed for school. Due to the limitation of the Gringotts on the amount of pounds exchanged for gold in Cologne. Plus, two sisters of Evans' family have to go to school. So they rationally chose second. Hand items. However, the two sisters were excited to choose goods. School uniforms and books were second. Hand goods purchased by them. But the sweet pot and other items used in magic medicine are still newly purchased with safety as the main focus. The last few people arrived at the Ollivander wand shop. This is also what the little wizard is most looking forward to. The two sisters looked curiously at everything in the room, when a gentle voice sounded. Welcome, little wizards of Hogwarts. At this time of the year, finding a book garden www.jiaoshuyuan.com is always my happiest time. Because many wands will choose their desired owners on this day. Let me see which little wizard comes first. Snape showed a gentlemanly attitude of prioritizing ladies. Lily and Penny looked at each other, and in the end, the enthusiastic Lily took the initiative to come to Ollivander's side. Ollivander enthusiastically measured Lily's size and asked about her preferred hand. After obtaining the desired data, he excitedly searched for the wand in his heart. At this moment, Snape approached Lily and said with a smile, Lily, how about we make a bet? Lily looked at Snape curiously. In her mind, Snape never mentioned the word gambling. Because she knew Snape's father, it was because of this that she left the world. But looking at Snape's serious gaze, she nodded gently and said, Okay, let's talk more specifically. Snape pretended to be mysterious and said, Miss Lily, your wand must be made of willow wood. What size do I think it is? Hmm, ten and a quarter inches, and it makes a whoosh sound when waved. Lily looked at Snape with a mysterious and mysterious expression and burst out laughing. She said happily, Okay, Seaver. That's settled. If it's exactly what you said. I can promise you something. Upon hearing this, Snape's eyes lit up and the two happily made a promise. At this moment, Ollivander excitedly walked out with his wand in hand. Happy handed the wand to Lily. Start proficiently introducing the relevant information about the wand in your mouth. Chapter 8 Hogwarts Express You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Ollivander smiled and said, Made of willow wood. Ten and a quarter inches, waving it makes a whoosh sound. Lily was shocked when she heard it and continued with her wand. When the wand was held in her hand, she felt like a spring breeze. Ollivander smiled happily and said, Not bad, not bad, another wand has found its beloved owner. Lily instinctively waved her wand. Realizing that it was indeed a whooshing sound, 
she forced a smile and thanked Ollivander. Then he walked up to Snape and whispered, How do you know? Snape smiled mysteriously and said, I was just guessing, who knew I really hit? Discovering that Lily didn't believe it at all, he immediately pointed to Penny. Turning his gaze away, he said, Look, Sister Penny's wand is about to appear. Compared to Lily's success, Penny's wand was a bit conflicted. I changed four wands in a row. Finally, when Ollivander took out a wand made of hawthorn wood with a dragon heart string as the core. This was the successful match. Penny joyfully held her wand and cherished it, putting it away. For her, she was disappointed that she had no magical talent and thought she could only be an ordinary person in this life. She can now learn magic, and she cherishes every experience very much. And ambitious individuals want to learn more knowledge. Both ladies successfully purchased the wand, and everyone's gaze turned to Snape. Ollivander is still following the usual routine of conducting inspections. Then excitedly, he took out his wand. As expected by Snape, Ollivander took out the wand from the original work. Ollivander took out the wand from the box and said seriously, the core of the snake nerve wand is composed of two parts. The birch bark. It is thirteen and a half inches long. Why don't you try waving it, little one? Undoubtedly, it is the wand in the original work, following every wave of Snape. Wands will give a perfect response. However, just as everyone felt it was over, an unexpected thing happened. As Snape waved his wand, a wand flew out of the cabinet behind Ollivander. Precisely fall into Snape's hands. And display a very matching anomaly. This shocked Ollivander greatly, although he had always advocated that the wand would choose its owner. But such an active wand, such an abnormal scene. It's the first time he's met in his life. Ollivander stared intently at Snape's wand. Murmuring to oneself, white wax wood, unicorn fur, same size. After speaking, he fell into contemplation. It's really amazing why a person has two different styles of wands. Just like twins of fate. But since the wand has chosen its owner, Ollivander will not prevent all of this from happening. Finally, Snape paid for two wands. Leaving here with two wands. This matter was soon ignored because the two sisters and the Evans had gone completely crazy. They experienced the ice cream of the magical world. Purchased some muggle potions and crucibles that can be configured. Excitedly prepared to go home and try. He even deliberately played the role of an evil wizard in the animated series. This made Lily and Penny giggle. Snape looked at the scene before him and felt that giving Penny magic was the right thing to do. Because in this family environment where magic is highly recognized and envied. When only one child has a magical talent, the other child becomes jealous and goes crazy. Fortunately, this life will not appear again. At this moment, there seemed to be a slight sublimation in his soul. A system prompt suddenly appeared in my mind. Ding, congratulations to the host for understanding the new healing magic, healing, dot. Healing magic. It can produce good therapeutic effects by utilizing natural abilities. Only one target can be treated at the same time. It can heal damage caused by magic and damage caused by physics. At critical moments, one can save their life, but cannot eliminate curses and toxins. Snape was very happy to receive his first healing magic in life. This means that as long as he still has natural energy, he cannot be afraid of any harm. While transforming into a cheetah to attack enemies, one can also heal oneself in this state. At this moment, a picture of a bull's fork still appeared in my mind. That is, if the wand is deformed, will it look like Professor McGonagall's glasses? The wand will turn into a pattern, and with two wands, wouldn't he truly become a left and right fighting mage? The more he thinks about this, the more he wants to test the feasibility of this matter. But the thought of the little wizard not being able to cast spells outside of school made him very frustrated. I really hope to move to Hogwarts soon. In the following time, he accompanied Lily and Penny to the pet store. 
but unfortunately, there was too much consumption earlier. I really don't have the money to buy my favorite pet. Snape watched the two sisters leave reluctantly. He smiled slightly at the corner of his mouth without making any sound. Happy times are always brief. The day's trip to Diagon Alley came to an end. Under Aaron's strong persuasion, the Evans couple suppressed the impulse to test the potion. And agreed to seal the crucible. They looked at Lily and Penny eagerly, hoping that they would learn and succeed soon. This way, you can go back home and teach them how to make magic potions. When they bid farewell to the Snape family. Snape stopped the two sisters. Then he quickly ran back into the room and soon appeared in front of them with two cute pets. Penny was relatively calm, just looking eagerly at the owl on Snape's left hand. Lily exclaimed excitedly, looking at Snape with her green eyes. Desiring to ask, Severus, can I hug that cat? Snape smiled slightly and said, I see you really like them. Find the book garden www.jowshuyuan.com. So I bought it without authorization. This is my opening gift for you. After speaking, he gently placed the cat in his right hand into Lily's arms, and Lily happily hugged the cat and circled around. Thanks Snape happily. When Penny took her favorite owl, she also couldn't hold back her excitement. Thanks to Snape, she showed off her owl in front of her parents. After a few happy goodbyes, they quietly waited for the day when school started. A few days later, Platform 9 and 3 quarters. Eileen and Evans escorted the three little ones onto the Hogwarts Express. When Snape and his companions got into the car, Irene comforted the Evans couple because she had successfully obtained a job offer from Hogwarts. Immediately declare that she will take good care of Evans' sisters. And I will often take photos and mail them to them through owls. This stopped the tears of the Evans couple. And Snape, who was sitting on the Hogwarts Express, was looking for a private room to sit in. Penny said with some concern, it said that Slytherin is very resistant to the Muggle family's little wizards. If we were to be assigned Slytherin, would we encounter many dangers? Snape comforted, the four colleges at Hogwarts are all very excellent. Slytherin only advocates pure blood, which does not necessarily mean that they will reject civilian wizards. Besides, I protect you all. At this moment, a voice mocked and said, Slytherin is all garbage, there are only evil black wizards over there. Only Gryffindor is the place where warriors should go. Chapter 9 Remus Lupin You are listening at NovelFull.audio Snape frowned tightly upon hearing these words. I don't know why, although I still don't know who the other person is, I actually feel the most genuine dislike in my heart. But Snape didn't take it from his heart, but rather prepared to see who the other person was. By the way, politely say a few words, and then leave gracefully. But to his surprise, before he could reach that side, another annoying voice appeared in the private room. James, that's not right. You know, our family has been Slytherin for generations. Upon hearing this sentence, Snape already knew who was on the other side. The first person to speak was the future savior father, James Potter. The person speaking later is his close friend Sirius Black. I saw the other person speaking while opening the private door and coming to Snape and his group. James Potter replied, I'm sorry, Cyrus, I didn't have any intention of insulting your family. Besides, I think you might go to Gryffindor. Sirius chuckled and replied, If I go to Gryffindor, it will be a big deal. The family would shout loudly, it's really embarrassing for the family. You can stay at your home and leave me a room for shelter when the time comes. Snape looked at them seriously, and indeed his personality would affect his temperament. James has a bold and individualistic personality, so although his temperament may be a bit domineering, it can be said that he is sunny and cheerful. Sirius has a somewhat arrogant and self-centered personality, so his temperament is inevitably a bit arrogant. Just as he kept his head high during his speech, his eyes seemed to be empty except for James. After James walked out, 
his gaze remained fixed on Lily. Snape only saw amazement in his eyes. He coughed lightly and said, Slytherin College, if it's really as bad as you said. So President Dumbledore, this college has long been cancelled. We cannot have two strong stereotypes about anything. The choice between evil and kindness, cowardice and bravery is based on people's hearts, not on the colleges that divide the hats. At this point, he saw Lily's silent nod. Without pause, he continued, if what you said is true, why don't Slytherin just change his name to Azkaban? The little wizard will be sent directly to Azkaban, and when the province grows up, they will have to worry about Aurora's arrest. Upon hearing this, Lily chuckled lightly, then grabbed Snape and Penny and prepared to leave. But James stopped them and said defiantly, Principal Dumbledore is Gryffindor's graduate, Gryffindor's synonym is bravery, and Gryffindor himself is also a warrior in duels. As for Slytherin, he blindly advocated the theory of pure blood. In his later years, he even betrayed his friendship and left Hogwarts alone. From then on, Slytherin also produced the most black wizards, their minds full of ambition and black magic. All of this is a fact. Snape replied disdainfully upon hearing this, Sir, you have the right to express your own thoughts. I also have this right. Although we have many differences, I won't force you to approve of me. In the future, we will still be classmates at the same school, and I don't want an argument to affect the relationship between classmates. After speaking these words, Snape seemed like a gentleman in Lily's eyes. Rationality, elegance, and demeanor in the face of doubt. On the contrary, James is more like a child, desperately proving that his ideas are right. A domineering attitude. Lily took the initiative to stop the boring debate, not looking at James and Sirius. But he affectionately said to Snape, Seaver, let's find another private room. Don't pay attention to them. After speaking, regardless of James's obstruction, he pulled Snape, who was a bit dazed, and Penny, who was angry, away. Watching the backs of a few people leaving. James chuckled and said, Have you ever heard of a sailor's story, Cyrus? Sirius's face was filled with question marks, as if he had already answered James. James continued, One day a young sailor saw a beautiful girl on the ship. He immediately turned to his companion and said, Hey, have you seen that beautiful girl? One day she will be my bride. This story attracted Sirius, who anxiously inquired about the ending of the story. James smiled mysteriously and said, We will know the ending of the story when we grow up. Then he pulled Sirius back to their private room to rest. At this moment, for some unknown reason, a strong sense of joy appeared in Snape's mind. All because Lily called him, Seaver, for the first time. The three of them walked and finally found a private room. There was only a thin and small boy in the room, and Lily took the initiative to ask, Hello, may I ask if the three of us can sit in? We have been searching for a long time, but there are really no available private rooms. The little boy didn't speak, but reluctantly smiled. Tell Lily by nodding that they can come in and rest. After several people sat down, Lily was the first to break the ice and introduce herself and the people around her. Hello, my name is Lily Evans. This year's Hogwarts freshman, the girl next to them is my sister Penny. This is our best friend, his name is Severus Snape. Looking for Shuyuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com, the little boy feels a bit introverted and even afraid to communicate with others. But with Lily's encouragement, he quietly introduced himself. My name is Limes Lupin, and I am also a freshman. Lily saw that the other person was also a newcomer and immediately started chatting with them. And it tells the story of her longing for Hogwarts. Unlike her, Snape silently looked at Lupin from the side. In the movie, Snape was almost bitten by Lupin, who had turned into a werewolf. But as someone familiar with the plot, he knew that none of this was Lu Ping's fault. It's all the personal thoughts of proud and arrogant Sirius. If it weren't for James's conscience discovering in the end and successfully helping him out of danger. 
Perhaps the outcome is that Snape becomes a werewolf, and as a werewolf, Lupin is forced to leave Hogwarts in self-blame. And I will never be able to forgive myself throughout my life. So Snape didn't have that much aversion to this poor werewolf. If Lu Ping were to choose, he wouldn't want to harm anyone either. But thinking of his own druid system, perhaps he can help this poor person in this lifetime. Thinking of this, he activated his talent for friends of nature. And used the power of nature to soothe Lu Ping's tense emotions. Lu Ping felt a warm breath and then looked at Snape, whose eyes had turned green. The two of them looked at each other, and Lu Ping's mentality gradually calmed down. Even for a moment, he regained his vitality and a rare smile appeared on his face. Upon seeing this scene, Snape smiled and thought to himself, no wonder your nickname is Moonface. In this life, we may become good friends. Chapter 10 Branch Ceremony, Part 1 You are listening at NovelFull.audio In the following time, Lu Ping felt the charm of friendship. This warm feeling has never been felt since he was bitten by a werewolf. So when I heard that Hogwarts was about to arrive. He looked at Snape and the others with reluctance. Snape also saw this scene and said gently, we will be friends from now on. No matter what college we are assigned to. Be sure to keep in touch frequently. You can communicate about magic and interesting things around you. After speaking, Lily extended her right hand and immediately placed it in Snape's palm. Penny also smiled and put her hand on it. At this moment, the three of them looked at Lu Ping, who was restrained. Lu Ping trembled and raised his hand, carefully placing it in Penny's hand. Snape laughed heartily and said, so we agreed on this. Since we have formed a group, there must always be a resounding name. When it comes to her name, Lily is very excited. After pondering for a few seconds, she said, I heard that Principal Dumbledore has a powerful phoenix companion. They share the same intention and have defeated many black wizards together. It has also forged many legends. Upon hearing this, Snape seemed to have thought of something. Sure enough, Lily proudly named the group, Phoenix Legend. Snape stayed their whole person. Lu Ping smiled gently, indifferent to any name. As long as you can be with these warm people. Penny and Lily are now sisters, so naturally they spoil their sister and nod their heads in agreement. The gaze of the last three gathered here at Snape. Snape smiled awkwardly and nodded stiffly in agreement. I thought to myself, fortunately, you are not travelers, otherwise wouldn't Huige be Lady Shishyang. At this moment, a picture appears in my mind. Years later, the group of four became a legendary wizard in the wizarding world, standing proudly in front of the boss Voldemort of this era. All Hogwarts classmates are cheering for them. They sang loudly, Woman Mountain is connected to the Outer Mountains. Then the four-person team raised their wands and bravely killed Voldemort. Finally, stand on Voldemort's corpse. Proud, he raised his wand and sang along with everyone. He unconsciously shuddered at the thought of this. Completely clear this terrifying scene from your mind. Quickly change into school uniform and follow Lily off the train. At this moment, a giant was shouting over there, first grade freshmen, are they there? Snape looked up and found that Hagrid still looked the same. It seems that time leaves no trace on him. Seeing all the new students coming to his side, he happily said, be careful, everyone, your feet are a bit slippery. Seeing someone slip, Lily used her wand to cast an illumination spell. But in the black night, this little light doesn't have much effect. Snape will certainly support Lily. He took out his wand and called out to Penny to use the illumination spell together. And indicate that everyone will release it together. Under their guidance, many little wizards who knew how to light spells cast them one after another. This little starlight instantly illuminated the slippery road. Hagrid couldn't help but praise, well done, little ones. No one slipped again like this. In the end, the little wizards arrived at the Black Lake and Hagrid said, four people in a group, let's go to Hogwarts together. 
the Phoenix Legend 4 patiently waited for everyone to board the ship. Only the four of them boarded their own small boat. Penny asked curiously, why doesn't Hogwarts prepare a big ship? Lily also looked curiously at Snape when she heard this. Because Snape is like a jack of all trades in the hearts of a few people. There seems to be nothing that can stump him in recent years. Snape patiently recounted, legend has it that the founders of Hogwarts, Gryffindor, Slytherin, Heckpack, and Ravenclaw, arrived at Hogwarts on such a small boat. So to pay tribute to the founders, Hogwarts established this tradition. Any first-grade wizard will take a boat from Black Lake to Hogwarts. After finishing this story, he began to tell about the magical creatures in the Black Lake. Everyone listened attentively to the story. At this moment, the castle of Hogwarts was right in front of us. Hagrid led the little wizards to the gate of the castle. Knock hard on the door three times. The door slowly opened and a black-haired witch wearing a green robe appeared in front of everyone. She looked at the crowd seriously and made a brief self-introduction. First grade freshman, welcome to Hogwarts. You can call me Professor McGonagall, and in the future, I will be your deformation class professor. Now everyone follows me closely to the auditorium. Your branch ceremony is about to begin. She politely said goodbye to Hagrid first, and then led everyone to the auditorium at Hogwarts. Penny looked excitedly at the ceiling, as the magical life she had hoped for was finally about to begin. The other little wizards also looked excitedly at everything in front of them. When it is confirmed that all the little wizards have arrived. Professor McGonagall gestured to everyone not to speak. This time, she smiled and said, the school banquet is about to begin, but before that, you need to determine which college to go to. At this point, she gently took out the branch hat. Amidst the screams of surprise, the sorting hat began his unpleasant singing. Zhaozhuyuan.com Lily and Penny had a quiet conversation, and the topic revolved around Snape's statement, which was indeed true. This dirty hat can really sing unpleasant songs. Although the conversation was easy, Lily could feel the sweat in Penny's palm. She gently chatted about relaxed topics, trying to ease Penny's nervousness. Professor McGonagall picked up a list and called out the names of one little wizard after another. Sirius Black, upon hearing this name, Lily and her companions looked at the arrogant figure at the train station. When he put on the branch hat, it became entangled. Boys from the Black family, logically you should go to Slytherin. But I've found a lot of interesting things in your mind. Let me think carefully about where you should go. Okay, that's the decision. Gryffindor, Sirius Black heard this message and laughed happily. Arrogantly walked towards Gryffindor's dining table. And waved his fist to signal to James Potter. Remus Lupin, at this moment, Lu Ping's name was called out, but Lu Ping didn't react for a moment. Snape patted his shoulder and said, Come on, Lupin. I guess you will definitely go to Gryffindor because you are a very courageous person. Lu Ping heard Snape's blessings and, encouraged by Lily and Penny, put on the sorting hat. Without hesitation, the branch hat shouted out, Gryffindor. Happy Lupin mischievously blinked at Snape and the others. Then excitedly walked towards the Gryffindor dining table. 